tracking Helene. The storm upgraded to a Category 3 as it barrels towards Florida. It is forecast to make landfall in the Big Bend region tonight, potentially bringing catastrophic storm surge, damaging winds, and flash floods. A live look right now at the conditions in Cedar Key. You can see the water rising and the wind gusting at this hour. It is going to get worse in this area. An incredible new video just in from Hurricane Hunters on X showing their aircraft soaring inside of Hurricane Helene. And South Florida is dodging the worst of this major hurricane, but we are feeling some of the effects. Our tornado watch has been issued for Broward, Miami-Dade, and Monroe counties through 8 o'clock tonight. And the latest advisory we have just in. So let's get right to Chief Certified Meteorologist Betty Davis. It is full speed ahead for Hurricane Helene, and it is getting stronger. The wind are now maximum sustained 125 miles per hour. So that's up from 120 moving toward the north northeast at 23 miles per hour. It is a large, powerful hurricane uh, filling up a lot of space over the eastern Gulf of Mexico. The forecast track, well, no change in this. It's heads toward the big bend of Florida and then up into Georgia. And you'll notice the wee hours of Friday morning, even as it's moving inland, weakening, but still forecast to be a, a strong hurricane, a category Two, as it's moving inland, the hurricane warnings and tropical storm warnings reaching still up into South Carolina and a portion of the Southern Appalachians as well. Let's get right to our hurricane specialist and storm surge expert Michael Lowry to talk a lot more about Helene. Michael, it has just been amazing to watch that rapid intensification today. How much stronger could this get before it even reaches the shoreline? Thankfully, it's running out of room, Betty, but I mean, regardless, it's such a big, such a strong hurricane. It's uh, sort of written in stone that this is going to be a consequential, very significant, serious blow to the Big Bend. Take a look at the latest information. Betty just showed you those winds at 125 miles per hour. Category 4 strength wind started at 130 miles per hour. The Hurricane Center telling us that this will likely be on the upper end of that uh, Category 3, but maybe a Category 4 by the time it gets in because it's continuing to strengthen. We have not seen uh, that strengthening trend um, abate, and we don't expect to see it. Moving north-northeast to 23 miles per hour, it's moving very quickly, so conditions will quickly, quickly deteriorate. Here are those uh, the latest cone from the Hurricane Center. There has been, Betty, a little bit of a nudge to the east in the forecast track. So Tallahassee is kind of right on the edge here of where the core of this may move over. It's very important for them because if this nudge is a little bit to the east, that could save them from the worst impacts, but they're still going to see some pretty uh, sizable uh, weather, sizable impacts from this big storm. Here is the look at the satellite in, in terms of the uh, radar on top of that satellite. I do want to show you a close-in picture of this because we can track it on our radar, and you can see that there's these little fingers that are sort of curling into the middle of this. These are meso uh, vortices that indicate a very, very strong hurricane, and those are very uh, uh, dangerous, uh, extremely dangerous parts of the hurricane that can have winds uh, even gustier than what the forecast is showing. Taking a look at the uh, the extent of this wind field, though, this is a one of the biggest hurricanes that we've seen in the, in the Gulf of Mexico in the last uh, few decades, and that's what's causing the push of water into the coast. So far, the tide has been going out. Now, as we get into the evening hours, that tide's gonna come back in. So the conditions haven't seemed that bad so far, but the surge is coming up, the tide is coming in, and 20 feet of storm surge is catastrophic for the coast. This is gonna bring some torrential rainfall all the way up into the Appalachians, into the mountains of Western North Carolina. So a big part of the Southeast is gonna feel this, and it's gonna happen very, very quickly, Nicole and Calvin, just because it's moving so fast inland.